Hey, hope you had a nice start to the new year. I've had some chance to, to reflect and to think. And with this virus raging all over again, it's given me a lot to think about. When I was back in Malta, I used to love going to some of the higher parts of the island and looking out from there. Malta is a pretty small island, so once you get to one of the high parts, you can see most of the island. And from up there, I'd be able to see maybe where my friends and my family lived, where the hospital was, where the university was. Anyway, I, I just go to one of these high places, look out and, and start to gaze and wonder what people were up to, what was going on in their lives. When I arrived here and found this spot, I was pretty stoked about it. Every so often, I'd just come here and, and gaze out. Look. Over there, maybe you can zoom in. Yeah, over there, those are, are some factories. That, that green part over there, that's a cemetery. And right down there, there's a shopping mall. Look. Yeah, that's, that's a lot. And these, these are all houses. I wonder how many people there must, there must be living over there. Actually, what's the population of Manila? Wikipedia says it's 13 13,484,000. Yeah, 13,484,000. That's quite a bit. So think about all the, all the people that live in just that area, just that area just in front of us. I can imagine there are those who are peacefully getting along with their lives, those who are going through some difficult times at the moment, those who are happy and those who are sad. Then there are some who are healthy at the moment and others who are sick. Unfortunately, at the moment, probably most of them with COVID. And then as I'm gazing out, I start to imagine scenarios that might be playing out in people's lives at this moment. What are they doing? What are they saying to each other? What's going on in their lives? At the moment, with the COVID situation being what it is, I can't go around getting to know people and serving them as I would have been able to before the pandemic. But at least in this way, by gazing out, looking out and imagining or trying to imagine what people might be going through at the moment, it helps me to not remain indifferent. It helps me to care. And even just now, I can imagine kids who are selling stuff on the street corners to be able to earn some money. I imagine parents who are happy, who are satisfied because they're able to put some food on the table for their family this evening. I imagine people who are struggling through a job they, they really don't like and they don't want to do, they just want to give up, but they can't do anything else because they don't have any other option. I can imagine families who are suffering domestic abuse and domestic violence, but can't get out and are stuck inside because of the situation as it is at the moment. I can imagine kids who just met up today and invented a game and have been playing it all day and enjoying themselves. We can't solve all problems and difficulties, but at least finding a way to care about them ensures that we don't remain indifferent. Once we care about something, then bit by bit, we'll find ways to orientate our life in a way that we can express that care. It won't happen overnight, but when it's genuine, it will happen bit by bit or day by day. It might start off by noticing situations of a particular problem. Then it might grow into getting to know people firsthand who are dealing with this, who are facing this. And then it might even eventually grow into a life choice or a vocation or a career. But because you care, you'll have a unique take on it. So anyway, that's it for this week. I'll catch you next week.